The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug, short for you, in 3D. The 3D is quite good, very little kind of sticks out at your face, but they do use it every so often and it's always welcome when they do it. It doesn't ever last for too long and the effect is never, yeah, obnoxious or anything. This picks up right where the first one left off with our heroes trying to get away from Azog and the other orcs. They do get some help, but soon Gandalf has to leave them and they are on their own. And they meet several new characters who stick around this time instead of it as with the first just being a series of just little encounters that where you could cut a bunch of them without it really affecting the overall plot. And this also just, it keeps the plot going. It, it starts and much sooner and it just keeps it moving throughout. The, this, this brings in the elves to a greater extent and it's done really great. Orlando Bloom still performs great as Legolas. Lee Pace as Thranduil is fantastic as the king of the Mirkwood Elves. A lot of power and the, the dignity with which he wields it is highly impressive. And Evangeline Lilly as an elf, I would not have called that, but I, she's amazing. Absolutely amazing as Thran... Laptarian, something, and yeah, it's it's really good stuff. There are more consequences this time, and yeah, things will happen along the way that actually, yeah, leave lasting consequences. The there's less humor, and it gets darker. The ring is getting to. Be a bit more of an influence on on Bilbo and the the Arkenstone, the crown jewel of Erebor, is getting more within Th Thorin's reach, and he both Bilbo and Thorin are affected by their respective artifacts. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.